Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I'm your host, Slash Raptor, and today we're going to continue playing Paper Mario right where we left off at the end of the last episode, which was in the middle of a heated chase between me and the invincible Tubba Blubba. I smell delicious ghosts. Open the door. Now, obviously, we have to avoid these enemies because we just don't have time to fight them. I always pictured this scene should be accompanied by the music from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where he's running back home, racing against his sister. I don't know, that'd be hilarious. If it wasn't copyright, I would have totally put that in here as a side, as like a, a side note thing. Uh, ah, ah. By a side note, I mean something playing in the background over top of both my audio and the game audio. By the way, that song is called March of the Swivelheads. I can't remember who, who the artist of, this, of that song was. Now, I recommend you should have Goombario in your party first, and then you should go and bring somebody else in. And if you read these signs, it's basically just saying, don't go any closer, man, uh, there's something really bad up ahead. Please don't go any closer, and something like that. I'm only gonna get about one for these guys, so I don't care at this point. Because here he is! Who are you? <laughs> what? Mario? Did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tubba Blubba? Someone spilled the beans that the Tubba Blubba in the castle is just their shell, and I'm controlling it from here? I think the, I, I like to think that this, this heart speaks with Renfield's voice. You can't trust anybody! I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body! Sorry, but here we go! It's ridiculous how this is just his heart, and yet it's a beast of a fighter. This is Tubba Blubba's heart. You might say it's the heart of the Tubba's secret. Ha! Okay, that wasn't funny. Max HP 50, attack power 6. He has a terrible attack, so hide when he tells, when he tells you he's about to unleash it. This attack will take away 12 HP. Try to beat him before he can do this huge attack again. Trust me, it's dangerous. This is Bao's turn to shine. Well, if he says so, switch to Bao. This is one of the stupidest bosses in the game because he tells you... He tells you, I'm going to use a special attack now. Get ready to block it, you know. I'm going to do this great attack. It's impossible to avoid. I just have to prepare it a bit. So hang on for a second. Out of sight! Oh yeah, you can't see me. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that, but that's the sound I picture that should make. And this is pretty much how the fight goes. It's kind of just a back and forth kind of thing. Of course, you could take the hit from him, but it's very unlikely that you'd survive that. I can't remember if Teba can attack you or not, but every now and then you're gonna have to risk an attack where you can restore your FP because every time you use out of sight, it, it takes away. You asshole! I'll get you for this! Ha! And on this day, Tama Blubba's heart span around, spun around six or seven times today. As opposed to grew three sizes that day. Or however that goes. I don't remember how that goes in the movie. And on that day, the Grinch's heart grew three sizes. Or something to that effect. Despite what you might think, this boss is really not that hard. Goombario basically tells you everything you need to know to survive it. 
I don't know if Tabababa's heart heals, but if it does, that's one of the major challenges that you'll fight. Because when he heals, then he would heal a significant amount. But because you have to, like, punctuate every attack with, like, out of sight, it basically means that you only get to attack on one phase, except for when he doesn't charge up his attack. I'm hurting! I have to get out of here! Get back here, you! Let's use a uh, hot shrimp to bring me back to full health. Oh, and I do have to fight somebody. One, two. One star point. Oh yeah. Outstanding. Come back here, you bugger. This is probably the stupidest thing he could have ever done. It's time to reunite! No, no, no. Oh yeah, now I'm healing good with my heart and my body united. There's no way to beat me! Added to BP this time. Oh, oh no! With my heart and body united, I'm not invincible anymore. Now I'm back to not invincible Tama Blubba. That's so lame. I give up. Look, I'll give back all the ghosts I ate. Forgive me. He didn't eat them, he swallowed them whole. Like, look at that. They're still perfectly alright. I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body. I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you. <laughs> Serves you right! And everyone who got eaten has returned safely. Hooray! But I guess I'd better tell everyone not to scare old Tubba Blubba anymore. We used to love scaring him night and day because he was such a coward. Oh well, we're not sorry for it. Scaring folks is what ghosts do, so boo on him! Besides that, it was a pretty invigorating experience. I've never felt so much excitement before. And um, it was also a good learning experience. I think I'd better experience some more of the outside world. So I think I'll accompany you a little longer. Is that okay, Mario? Of course it's okay, right? Sure. Done! You're so lucky to be able to jump with me. <laughs> well, here we go, Mario. I'm, getting, I'm giving you the back of the star spirit, as I promised. Bootler, snap to it. Come over here. Here, Mario. He's free now. And that's the end of chapter to do. And after solving the secret of the invincible Tubba Blubba, Mario and Party set free Star Spirit Skolar. Now with Tubba Blubba just a bad dream, the boos are free to hunt to their heart's content. Even the lonely wind echoing through Gusty Gulch seems to be celebrating the victory. At least for now. With newest party member Bao in tow, Mario and friends are ready to take on their next challenge. 
And that's about it for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys right back here in the next episode where we will continue playing exactly from where we left off. Notice how I'm actually going to cut it before it gets too long and then have to stop halfway when I enter the Princess Peach thingy. So yeah, let's not worry about that. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.